Now, if you're good, I'll give you a lovely drink of liquid manure. <laughs> Play that, wouldn't he? We can't wait. Yes. <laughs> Go away, they don't like you here. <laughs> Look, I've got news for you, George. These plants are just high-class bits of biological machinery. Don't pay any attention to the nasty man. They can't hear you. Of course they can. They get my vibrations. That's not vibrations, that's the shapes, all the start you drink. <laughs> Go away, you're upsetting them. But where are their ears then? Show me their ears. They don't need ears. They get it through the leaves. Oh. Are you receiving me? Oh, no, no. Are you receiving me? Oh. You're just jealous because I can make things grow. You could only got to look at a plant and it shrivels up. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll do a scientific test, yeah? Look, here's two identical plants, right? Uh? You take charge of one, I'll take charge of the other. We'll see if there's any difference. Oh, don't bang it down like that. It, it doesn't like it. George? <laughs> You're jabbing the roots. How would you like it? Now, no feed, just water. All right, we'll make this a proper scientific experiment. That's the control. What's the bet? As much stout as you can drink at a sitting. You're on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you miserable, stunted thing. You, 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 what are you saying to my plant? <laughs> don't make no difference, does it? I just don't want your breath on it. Well, I don't want you to do mine, then. Look, I can make better use of my conversation than chat up bits of green stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you nasty little thing. You're ugly. Nobody wants you. Why don't you die? <laughs> Hello, Dingley. What are you doing here? Who's looking after the shop? Nobody. <laughs> my word, it's thirsty weather. Kind of the best. I'll get it. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Dingley? You don't seem yourself lately. I'm a bit bothered about you. Keeping the old bowels open, are we? <laughs> Coming up trumps with the jolly old number twos. <laughs> not what I'm drinking, Stanley. It's not good enough, you know. Life's for living. Who are we? What are we doing here, we ask ourselves? I've just come in for a quiet drink, Stan. No, I'm speaking cosmically. Meaningless question. Yeah. Life, to all intents and purposes, is absurd. But we have to live it, Dingley. We have to live it. Why? Uh, hang on. Um... Oh, yeah. It's a challenge. Yeah. Uh... Life is a game we play as free individuals against blind determinism. Thus, we spit in the eye of cosmic necessity. Last week, you were talking about going Catholic. Yeah. Reading the new book. I thought perhaps you were. We are what we do. Action's the thing. Perhaps you've got the male menopause. <laughs> I've had one of them, gave it up, didn't like it. <laughs> well, perhaps you can get it twice, like a second childhood. Hey, how about a nice sexual adventure, Dingley? I can fix you up. <laughs> you? Yeah, friend of mine. Lovely girl. Only does it with friends, but I could put a good word in for you. Might put new life into you. <laughs> it's very kind of you, Sam, but I think I'm past that kind of thing. Well, that reminds me, you'll have to look after things this afternoon. I'm going into town. What for? To sell my medals. What? My war medals, I'm selling them to a dealer. What for? I was looking at them the other day, and I suddenly felt like an imposter. But they're your medals. You won them. Not me. What are you talking about? Someone else of the same name. What? Do you understand? No. I've changed, Stanley. I'm not that person anymore. Look at me, eh? Can you imagine me capturing a machine gun post single-handed? <laughs> Did you do that? Nearly. <laughs> Shall I tell you what your trouble is, Dingley? No. You're caught in the existential rat trap. I see. Yeah. You've reached a certain age. I'm not old. No, I'm not saying you are. It's just that you're starting to serve what I might call the apprenticeship to senility. Did you get that from your book? Yeah, I think they did mention it, yeah. <laughs> Over the hump of maturity, you look back on the doings of this world and all is dross. <laughs> Can't see the point in it. So you lose the will to action. Sit in the trap, wait for the chloroform pad. Won't do, Dingley, won't do. What you need is something to embrace. I've got Connie. No, 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 no. Something to throw yourself into. Like a river. <laughs> <laughs> look, Dingley, I'm trying to help you. Look, why don't you read this book? The answer to your problems. Mm? 
No pictures. <laughs> it's philosophy, Tingley. You don't get colour plates. I don't believe in books. I think they change the weather. Perhaps I should have stayed a solicitor. Horticulture's a constant reminder of mortality. Of life, Tingley. No, plant life smells of death to me lately. Nothing lasts, it all dies. You raise a plant from seed, it blooms, the petals drop, you yank it out and onto the compost heap. Oh, I can't stand compost heaps anymore. They send cold shivers down my spine. <laughs> Perhaps I should have gone in for making concrete slabs. They last. <laughs> or memorial stones. Started a funeral parlour. <laughs> have a peanut. <laughs> have you ever thought about what happens to peanuts after you've eaten them? <laughs> You're uh, gonna get that van moved, aren't you? Moved? Otherwise it's a towing job. They'll be around with the no parking signs any time. What are you talking about? Haven't you read the notices? Nah, they can't put yellow lines in this street. Well, they can, you know. They're going to tomorrow. No, we had an assurance from the council. We sent a deputation. It was all agreed. Isn't that right, Dingley? Nothing to do with me, mate. I just do my job. Oh, yeah, that's what they said at Nuremberg. <laughs> I'm a good sort, old stone. Don't kid me. You're a yellow line fetishist. I've seen the gleam in your eye when you're sticking the tickets under the windscreen wipers. Substitute rape for you, isn't it? <laughs> you see yellow lines like we see girly mags. Just get that fan. Boo! Yeah. This is England, mate. Birthplace of democracy. You all have their little hours strutting and fretting. But they don't last long. We'll bury you! <laughs> I told him. Must be a mistake. Must be. We'll have to do something about it. Dingley. The street might not be here in a hundred years' time. But that's not the point. This is now. It's all vanity, Stanley. Anyway, what can we do? Go and see the town hall for a start. I'll go and see the town hall. It won't do any good. All the same if it does. Look after the shop, Stan. Might be away a long time. George, you want it in the shop? What's this? What have you done to my plant? <laughs> haven't touched it. You've put weed killer on it. No, I haven't. What then? Just to do wood with them. <laughs> What's he been saying to you, eh? Or do you don't want to listen to him? Listen, straighten up by tomorrow, you'll get a dose of this round your roots, savvy? <laughs> As for you, I don't know why you're looking so smug, you're gonna get it anyway. <laughs> I don't know why you don't just die. Go on, die. <laughs> die. What am I doing? <laughs> Well, I'm sure we can come to an amicable arrangement satisfactory to both sides. I'll uh, pop round tomorrow about 12 and discuss what needs to be done with your husband. Oh, he'll be at work then. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll pop round anyway. Yes, do that. Goodbye. Stanley, your amicable arrangements cost the firm money. <laughs> How'd you get on? I saw the town clerk. He thinks there's been an interdepartmental communication failure. Oh, in other words, he forgot to tell him. So is he going to stop it? He can't override a Highways Committee decision. It wouldn't be democratic. Really, he's asked them to change their minds, though. He's going to put it to them when they meet next. Oh, when's that? Monday week. It'll be too late, then. That's right. So they paint in the line, then a fortnight later they paint it out again? There's a snag there. What? There's a cutback. There isn't the money for painting out yellow lines. <laughs> this is the money for painting in yellow lines. That's different. This is mindless bureaucracy at its worst. I should think so. Wait a minute. The town clerk can tell the traffic warden to ignore our line. I put that to him, he can't. It wouldn't be democratic. All yellow lines are equal. <laughs> I'm gonna have a word with the traffic warden. He'll see sense. After what you said to him. Oh, they're used to worse than that. I'll have a meeting out of my hand. Hello again. <laughs> uh, sorry, I, uh, sorry I flew off the handle. Uh, you know, I just had a hard day. 
Plus the budget, wife's got playing up. <laughs> no hard feelings. Look, um, really is a mistake, you know. They don't want to paint it in. I mean, check with them if you like. You know, ask the town clerk. Uh, mention my name. So, uh, if, if, if you could, um, if you could uh, see your way clear to um, um, forgetting about it till, uh, till it goes away. <laughs> Fascist. <laughs> no ethics, have you? my medals now. I shall have to leave it till tomorrow. Better that way. Shan't have to see the line go down. What, you mean you're going to leave it at that? You do something about it. You're more bothered than I am. But you see, I'm most bothered about Dingley. Don't you remember the dark days of the war? Dimly. <laughs> oh, against the call of duty and beyond all odds, you captured a machine gun post single-handed? Nearly. Nearly single-handed? No, nearly captured it. <laughs> what, do you remember how you felt then? It's all a blank. Dingley! I tell you, it wasn't me. It was a young man now dead, not this shopkeeper. I'm in the slough of despond, Stan. Oh, come out! I can't. I like it here. <laughs> Dingley, I am going to save you from yourself. Oh. Thought you couldn't stand to look at a compost heap. It had to come to a confrontation. They were brought down, you know. <laughs> it's all there, you see. No, it's not. We've got another heap over there. <laughs> the two elements of life. Compost, what we all come to, and our puny attempts to make ourselves immortal by leaving something behind. That's the medals. What do our highest endeavours add up to but a battle against the inevitability of death? A frantic striving to fashion something that won't rot down on the compost heap. the ribbons will go, given time, unless they're nylon. <laughs> Don't be trite, Stanley. I'm being symbolical. Hey, Dingley, take a look at this. You collecting autographs? No, no, no. Signatures of all the shopkeepers. The rest are regular customers, all bona fide interested parties. In short, considering your natural abilities and war record, including your uh, experience with the Norwegian resistance... I never was in Norway. No, no, but I had to tell him something. <laughs> anyway, not to mention your qualities of leadership and your seniority. Uh, not that you're old, mind. They all thought you the natural choice. What for? May Queen? No, no, no. <laughs> to lead the movement. What movement? Against the line. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> well, don't you understand, Dingley? Your time has come. You're being called. Go away, Stan. I want to commune with the compost. <laughs> look, look at Churchill. Look at de Gaulle. Men of action in the evening of their lives. Though not old, mind. And then the call came. We need you. It's very kind of you, Stanley. But I think I'm past that kind of thing. It's no good. I'm a spent force. I haven't got it in me anymore. Is the pub open? <laughs> Only around the back. I'll meet you around there. If you don't mind having a drink with an old man. You're not old. You're as old as you feel. <laughs> that makes me about 108. <laughs> don't forget you're looking after the shop in the morning. Look, what shall I do with this? Put it on the compost. Give this to Stan, will you see him, will you? You left it here. Oh, his book. Yeah. Action and being. Bloody rubbish. Who are we and what are we doing here? God.
Yes, you. It, it's just arrived. Are you referring to me? You just put the bait in, sir. Right, sir. Who was that? Dealey. I thought he was going to town. Change his mind. No, he's coming in, is he? In a minute. Do you know something I don't? You'd better smarten yourself up. Colonel doesn't like slumokiness. I suppose you know what you're talking about. Look, look after the shop, George. I'm just going to slip round the back. What do you know good? But what have you done to my plant? <laughs> no more than you've done to mine. about in the road looks damned untidy. I want them collected up, taken to the dump and burnt. Any questions? Isn't that illegal? Yes. Now pay attention. I want all shopkeepers must of the curbside there to place in the gutter whatever obstacles they have to hand and sit on them. If attacked, they may use reasonable force to defend themselves. Any questions? Uh, Dingley. Carry on, Stanley. What the hell are these? About plants, sir. I mean Dingley. Plants? You call yourself plants? Stand up straight, the burial. God. <laughs> He's flipped. <laughs> I know I talked to you yesterday afternoon, and I'm talking to you again this morning right now. Listen to me. If one drop of yellow paint falls on our street, there's likely to be some damage done. We haven't needed a resistance movement here yet, but by God, if that paint wagon starts moving, I can't vouch for the extent of our guerrilla activity. <laughs> what? Threatening? <laughs> of course I'm threatening. What the hell do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Bloody fool. <laughs> George, look after the shop. Here. What do you think you're doing with that van? Parking it in my street, as is my world. All right. Are you going to move that, or are you not? Got a license for this firearm, sir? They didn't ask me that during the war, did they? When I was keeping out the fascists. Well, that was quite a long while ago, you know, sir. All right, all right, arrest me. We get arrested nowadays for defending our rights. Now, nah, come along, old chap. I'm not old. I'm not old! Uh, excuse me, officer. Um, my, my, my friend's been under some, uh, some strain uh, lately. Um, <coughs> he, he wouldn't hurt a dog. Uh, I can vouch for him. Uh, my, my name's uh, Partridge. Stanley Partridge, the actor. Z Cars, 1968. I must have seen him. Uh, 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 it's an old war wound. See, he's got a plate in his head. And uh, his wife ran off yesterday. It's very sad, but he wouldn't have done it. And the gun. He was bringing the gun around to show me. See, I deal in uh, old guns. Uh, this is uh, an antique uh, collector's item. And, of course, it uh, has no fire in it. <laughs> I see, sir. Oh. 
Literature's a very dangerous thing, you know. You shouldn't have given him that book. You paid for that drink. I thought I'd just give you a quid. Don't think about the change. I wonder what he'll get. A Majesty's pleasure? Hmm. Well, there's one good thing. Sell up the line painting. They're all down the station making a statement. <laughs> ah, Dingley. Just in time for the round. <laughs> What's the charge? Causing an affray. Ooh, that's reasonable. They say I'll probably get off lightly on account of my age. You're not old. Don't let's start that again. Under an eight. <laughs> you read that book, then? Glanced at it. Yeah. Action doesn't necessarily mean carrying a gun, Dingley. I had the safety catch on till you took it off. Yeah. Well, I think you ought to steer clear of philosophy. You misunderstand its purpose. It's not for doing, it's for talking about. You think I made a fool of myself? Yeah. yeah. Not a fool. Spectacle. <laughs> you have to express yourself now and then. Yeah. Now and then. It's done me the world of good. I was a, a wee bit depressed. I know. Oh. Did it show? <laughs> the, uh, the workmen are back. Oh, yeah. Let's go and watch. You're putting them on again, are you? If I'm going to be laughed at, Stanley, I'm going to do it in style. Walk tall, Stan. Walk tall. When you come to think of it, there's a lot to be said for the well-timed, futile gesture. It's the uh, purest form of action, really. Being totally useless. Anyway, I enjoyed it. Talking of futile gestures, I had a word with old Catchpole, the ironmonger. He's willing to donate the paint. What paint? There's a nice line in Matt Black. I'm getting a party up tonight to paint the line out again. <laughs> What's futile about that? <laughs> Very dim. <laughs> but, uh... Isn't it illegal? Only if you get caught. <laughs> That'll save the council money, won't it? Or put it in another way. They haven't got the money to paint the line out. <laughs> they won't have the money to paint it back in again. <laughs> <laughs>